Well, ever since I was a, a child, I always enjoyed building models. And uh, over the years, they just got more and more expensive and larger and involved. And uh, I learned how to fly when I was 35. And uh, at that point, saw an airplane at an air show that I thought I would like to build. At that point in time, it was such a dream. It was so far off. My capabilities were so far below what it would take to fly such an airplane that it was uh, just a dream. But uh, as the years went by and I gained flight training and ability, and resources, I was able to embark on the project and I dove into it uh, one year in uh, 2003. Just decided I was going to start this project. This airplane is an all carbon fiber, very high performance, two seat single engine aircraft. Um, it's known for its high performance capability, its comfort. Um, it's very well designed, it's a very strong airframe. Uh, and it comes from a very well reputable company in the amateur built industry. Um, it's large enough to and can be capable enough to fly to Florida in about four and a half hours, yet uh, small enough that I can build it myself without any help here in my residence. It went in spurts. There were periods of time when I didn't work on it much at all for, for weeks or even months. And then there was times when I worked on it 12 hours a day. It depends how things were going. If I was really enthralled with something and how things were going, I, would, uh, I wouldn't come up for air and I'd be working on it incessantly. And there were other times where I just kind of lost interest. The weather was nice and I felt like doing other things. And that's why it's a hobby and, not, and it's not vocation. It's, I can put it aside and come back to it when I wish. There's been a lot of challenges with um, getting different systems to work together, um, completing the immense amount of work involved. Uh, I moved several times. I had to suffer the loss of my father during this project, which was a, a difficult time. That was a, a challenge to, and that required I, I was distracted from the project for a time. But I always came back to it and uh, stayed focused, and uh, I loved the experience, absolutely loved it. I think the single most important person would have to be my late father, uh, who himself couldn't handle a wrench, couldn't change the gas on a tank on a grill. But he was a child psychiatrist, and when I was born, he recognized I had an aptitude for building things, for understanding things, and he always encouraged my interests, allowing me to take apart vacuum cleaners at age two, radios, whatever I could get my hands on. He bought me tools, he bought me models. Over the, the objection of my mom, he would say, don't worry, if you can't put it back together, we'll buy another vacuum cleaner. And uh, because of his encouragement, um, I was able to develop my aptitude and it culminated in my ability to fix and build just about anything I put my mind to, the airplane being the most uh, recent accomplishment. So I would have to say my dad is uh, the single most important influential person in my life who's enabled this to take place. The plane is close to done. I need to get my airworthiness certificate and uh, then after the plane's ready to fly I'll probably engage the services of a test pilot who has several thousand hours in the same type of airplane to uh, shake it out for the first uh, four to eight hours of flight time and then I fly it for 40 hours uh, alone after which I'm allowed to carry passengers. My plans are to fly uh, wherever I would like to go. It's a very fast airplane. It cruises at 285 miles an hour so destinations that are typically out of reach with smaller less capable airplanes all of a sudden become possible. The process of building it has been an adventure. Um, I've met a lot of very, very nice people um, that have become lifelong friends of mine. I've learned a lot. It has allowed me to put together 
things I've learned from all aspects of my life from since I when I was a child, uh, my days as an engineer, and put that all together and learn new skills and new areas of uh, technology, and come up with my own ideas and come up with better solutions. And I've I built this thing from the ground up.